This is a video showing the installation of one of the primary holes. The machine is now lowering a bucket into the casing. The casing has already been established. It is uh, driven to uh, some partial depth. And the bucket is going in the hole. This kind of a bucket is designed to just uh, clean out fairly soft material from within the casing. You can see the operator moving the controls. It's a fairly complicated machine. It goes up, it goes down, it rotates clockwise, it rotates counterclockwise. There's a lot uh, going on and uh, the operator certainly has to spend some time getting familiar with the machine. You see the bucket is moving pretty easily through the material because this is uh, just removing the native soil, which in this case is pretty soft. Yeah, a trap door on the bottom of it. So he, uh, he lowers this outer ring and he engages the bucket somehow and trips that door. see the material is quite soft. Now he's out in a very busy street and it's an ongoing uh, cleanup problem. He cannot allow the material to really pile up. So this uh, loader is uh, stationed there pretty much on a continuous basis. Trucks have to be available on a continuous basis so that you can keep removing that muck. Now he has the uh, casing down almost to the bottom and I think at this point the bucket comes up uh, pretty much empty. You see the operator on the left is uh, checking the depth of the hole. And now when he opens the bucket I, I think it's uh, more water than uh, any solids. So at this point he's just closing that trap door. He's uh, set aside the bucket and now they're preparing to fill this with concrete. They're installing this uh, ring. It's uh, really a clamp. As they place concrete they're going to withdraw the casing and you don't want the casing to slip back down in the hole. So this serves as a clamp to prevent the casing from uh, sliding back into the hole. Looks like they're ready to begin placing concrete and they don't waste any time because the bottom of the hole can start filling up with water or some other fine material. So you really want to get the concrete in there as soon as you can. And this concrete truck uh, must have been standing by ready to go. They've now placed some amount of concrete and they predetermined this. How much concrete does it take in order to allow them to lift out one section of casing? So this has uh, been calculated and now they know exactly what it takes to free up one length of casing. That's what they're engaged in now. They're going to clamp onto this casing and lift out a section. Well now you've seen the uh, sequence of events, the process for creating a drilled shaft. In this case the drilled shafts will be joined together to form a continuous secant pile wall, but there are other applications for drilled shafts and for uh, caissons, and this is uh, typical of the techniques that are used.